to mention all the tasty food. Sumeru's largest commercial pork sure lives up to its name. Look at all the merchants. And everyone seems excited just to be here. No one quite as excited as Pilot. Uh, how did things end up like this? All thanks to your artistic license. That's how. Oh, I should have made you wait until we got an update from Tanja. But when I finished the prototype Aranara yesterday, you agreed that the kids would like it. That's why we tried bringing it out for a test run today. Well, I never thought they'd dislike it so much. Damn. Didn't know your work would be so shit. Oh, what should we do? There we go. That They sound distinctly less than excited. Whoa. Yeah. Compared to everyone else, they seem really down in the dumps. Let's go find out what's going on. Um, hey there. Paimon's name is Paimon, and she's a traveler who was just passing by. Is there something bothering you? Oh, I noticed you two a moment ago. Welcome to Akara Crafts, the best toy store in Port Ormos. Uh, at least for now. Uh, what's bothering us is this prototype Aranara. Uh, to start with, could I uh, get your opinion on it? Prototype Aranara? Uh, Yikes. you mean this wood curving here? It uh, looks like a mushroom monster to Paimon. It doesn't look very happy. Uh, oh, there we have it. The verdict is in. Uh, what a headache. Not the first negative feedback we've had. Prototype Aranara. What do you think? So, for context, Aranara are magical creatures in Sumeru fairy tales that live in the forest. For the store's 20th anniversary, we plan to release a series of hand carved toys based on the Aranara stories that kids know and love. This is a prototype we made to get an idea of how they would react. But when we put it out there, the reaction was not quite what we'd anticipated. They thought it looked like a mushroom, too, huh? No. Worse than that, actually. I can't quite describe it, though. And I'm also not very good with kids. Maybe you could ask them for yourselves. This is not an Aranara. <laughs> no way! I've read Uncle Tanja's Aranara and the Ill Little Fungus. It says that Aranara are supposed to be chubby and squishy. The carving looks nothing like that. Mm, toys do look better when they're round and chubby. Uncle Tanja said in Aranara's vow that you can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Huh. This carving makes me feel lost and confused inside. <laughs> I don't think the creator put his heart into it at all. Nothing like an R and R. Ooh, didn't put his heart into it, huh? Oh, sounds like one of those things that's easier said than understood. Is there? Th that's such a like devastating insult. Your work of art makes me feel lost and confused inside. Ugh. I'd be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Mean to destroy your world. <laughs> That's impressive. Kasid and Alia didn't like this carving, but I think it's okay. It doesn't look too happy, so it's kind of pitiful in a cute way. Oh, a positive review! Well, kind yeah. of. So I would totally ask my dad to get it for me, if it wasn't meant to be a Nara Nara. Oh, well, that took a sudden turn for the worse. We asked the children for their opinions. Oh, how did it go? Uh, has it maybe, uh, grown on them at all? So I understand how you feel. Oh, this is such a shame. Uh, why isn't Tondra back from Gondarvaville yet? Oh, the kids kept mentioning an Uncle Tondra, too. Who is he, exactly? Uncle Tanja is a famous children's author here in Port Ormos. I thought we... He wrote quite a few stories Did we in talk the past, to him? but was he there? Uh, none of them were popular among children. Uh, just like our prototype Aranara. 
But around a year or so ago, he suddenly had a eureka moment or something. And suddenly, the children loved every one of his stories. Did he actually meet one? Well, that's right. My little Gafari loves his stories, too. Gafari? The whole reason we decided to make Sounds these like carvings you was named because we saw your child after your sneezing the noise. Among children. Gafari! We asked Tanja for guidance. But right after he agreed, he went off to Gandharvaville with his son to look for inspiration. They haven't returned yet. We were running out of time, so we had no choice but to carve an Aranara based on our own imaginations. And your imaginations are shite. As you can see, this was a result. <sighs> oh, we have to do something. Hey, since you're the famous traveler, could you do us a favor and look for Tanjir in Gandharvaville? How'd hmm? you know we were the famous traveler? He doesn't have to come in person if he's too busy. Just ask him to write down his suggestions and do bring knew who his we were from the beginning. Us, if you could, Sly Dog. Uh, please, if only to put a smile on the children's faces, and of course you'll be well compensated for doing us the favor. You know, people I'm say that, but. <laughs> Might as well help him out. To see the kids smile. Okay. And also for our reward. <laughs> that that reading was like really subtle and hilarious. And also for our reward. Okay, we'll do it to see the kids smile. Yep, let's do it. And for the reward. looking for inspiration but how do we find him should we yell his name at the top of our lungs sounds like a bad idea hey buddy what's your name what are you doing here all alone do you live in Gandharvaville? regardless don't worry as a trainee forest ranger i'll do we everything i can is. to help you question mark yes. hi miss forest ranger i'm rosie don't mind me I know the way back to Gandharvaville. When people say, don't mind me, what they really mean is don't worry about me. Yes. That's all the more reason not to leave you alone. <laughs> okay. That's not the most convincing hey, sob I've ever don't heard. Cry. What's wrong? Take your time. You can tell me all about it. Huh. That voice sounds familiar. I once heard it somewhere before. It's Kale. Oh, it's Kale! And a child who seems to be upset. Oh, let's, let's go interrupt. Hi, Kale. How have you been? Huh. I'm on a traveler. Huh. I've been doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. I'm helping Master Tainari patrol the forest. What brings you here? We're here on an errand. We heard your voice, so we thought we'd come ask you for help. You seem kind of busy, though. <laughs> um, I'll be fine. Y you go help them first, Miss Forest Ranger. I'm okay, really. <laughs> the sand got into my eyes, that's all. Yeah, that's sand that's what plentiful a around us. Child. It just leave him here. Sand? There is not a lot of sand in a forest. You keep saying you're okay because you don't want us to know what you're upset about, right? Maybe. That's exactly why you have to get it off your chest. Through those healing trails in the background. A trick. <laughs> <laughs> you're keeping a secret that bothers you. You can try telling it all to a tree hollow. Uh, a tree hollow? Yeah, a tree hollow. Do you know Tanja's stories? The R&R living in the forest will patiently listen to every word children say. Maybe there really are R&R living in the tree hollows that will listen to you. You like the R&R stories too? Of course. I love them. Oh, people who like R&R are the best. <laughs> okay, I'll try telling my secrets to people a tree that hollow. People don't like R&R are the Force worst. Ranger. You know everything. <laughs> Aw, you're just exaggerating. Anyway, I'm trying to be like my friend, who always does her best to cheer people up when they seem sad. So, how are you doing? Feeling any better now? 
The forest is very dangerous, so how about we stick together? I don't know what it says about me. Something probably very bad. But all I can think of is, like, you could use that information to build a network of young informants like Varys did in Game of Thrones. All the children were his little birds. Just by pretending to like the Aranara or, like, just being positive about it. People are like, oh, we like him. He likes the Aranara. He's the best. Okay, now. Tell me what it is that your parents have been doing behind the house. The person that they've been meeting with? Can you describe that person to me? How often does that person come? Like you, that, you shouldn't be thinking about that stuff, right? Kind of manipulate a vast network of information? It's probably bad, right? It's, it's probably not healthy. Healthy thoughts. Sure. Wow. Kali's so good with kids. Forest Ranger, you can trust. <sighs> well, helping children who are lost in the rainforest is all part of a Forest Ranger's duty. But he wasn't lost. He's just sad. So, what was it you wanted help with? You're not lost too, are you? I actually want to go deeper into the forest. Okay, so you're looking for a children's author from Port Olmos called Tanja. And he's here in Gandarverville. I'm looking for inspiration. Uh, wait, when you say Tanja, do you mean the Tanja? How many Tanjas That's do you it. think exist? Tanja, Tanja so not Tanja. Looking for inspiration Leviosa. for a new story speak? This is amazing. Uh, can you wait for me for a second? I'll run Razi back to Gandarverville and then I'll be right back. I've always been curious what the man behind those incredible stories is like in person. He's a genius who spends a lot of time in solitary confinement. <laughs> Tanja's just a normal guy. Bruh! Even so, he must be more creative than most people. <sighs> Wait, hold on. Rossi, do you mean you've met Tanja before? She's a little slow. Mm -hmm. He's my dad. Your dad? Tanja's your dad! As in your Tanja's son? Uh -huh. Oh my god! Ah, Paimon sees. That guy at Akara Crass told us that Tanja brought his son along with him. So he meant Razi. Yeah, no shit. Why are you here on your own, though? Did you and Tanja get separated? I... <laughs> we had an argument. I was upset, so I ran off here by myself. Oh, in that case... We should take you back to Gondarverville first. Then we'll look for your dad and tell him where you are. We'll gawk over him. Don't mind that. No, I'm, I'm good. Thanks for your advice, Kale. I'm not so upset anymore. Come with me. I'll take you to him. Yay! Thanks, Razi! Paimon thought we'd be spending the whole day looking for him. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm actually going to meet the Tanja. Kale. Oh. Clean it up. Exactly. Clean it up. Not in front of the kid. What? Hmm, so Tanja headed this way. Oh, I know this place pretty well. <laughs> they just gave her to us? I thought we were going to have to, like, do shit. But because we are going to help her meet Tanja, suddenly she's like, all right, I'll be your friend. Okay. Can't ascend her? Why? Because we have no fucking dendro. Okay, whatever. Does this mean I'm making progress? Hmm. Attack percentage, that's interesting. Uh, huh. Razi! Where are you, Razi? Someone's calling for Razi over Relax, there! Relax, dog. Where? You haven't even left. You're just screaming from your little tent. Oh, Rossi. Thank goodness I finally found you. What would I do without you, my son? Were you in danger? Did the wild beasts scare you? Did the stars guide your way? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, that, all thanks to their help. It sounds like he really wanted you. to be Irish, Thank but is holding all. it back. 
I dare say that even the most cold-hearted Spino Crocodile would be moved to tears by your kindness. Oh, it's nothing. It's all part of my responsibility as a trainee forest ranger. I'm the one who should thank you for creating so many wonderful stories for the children of Sumeru. I... Uh, I, I love them too! Really? I didn't know anyone read my stories apart from young children. That must mean you're still in touch with your inner child. I didn't really have a childhood, see, because I got hmm. experimented on. Okay, then. I have the inspiration for my next story. It shall be about an Aranara granny who's a child at heart. Huh? Granny. It's... Uh, it's an honor to become the source of your inspiration. She doesn't take it as an insult, though. She just rolls with it. Kale looks like she's about to pass out. Uh, hey, Kale. Are you okay? Yeah, this might be too much stimulation for her. Uh, I'm okay. Sorry. I, I just got a little too excited. Are you two story lovers as well? Yes, yes! The moment I saw you, the image of an Aura Giant and an Aura Finch traveling together popped into my mind. Yep, I'm the Aura Giant, and she's the Aura Finch. Ah, excellent! Improvisation! Yes, mount your trusty steed of imagination and canter through the lush meadows of lyrical expression. You have the potential to become a celebrated storyteller too, you know. A slightly exaggerated view of what it means to be a children's author. Also, Paimon's not a finch. That's nothing to get excited about. Let's put the jokes aside and get down to business. A car crafts. A car crafts. Oh! Oh, right, right. I remember now. That small boat once sailed into the sea of my memory, but before long it floated away over the horizon, never to be seen again. Perhaps for the best. After all, a wild tempest was a raging in Tanger Harbor. Oh, good lord. Um, what? Paimon has no idea what he's saying. I know what he's saying, but it's really self-indulgent. Uh, whatever, what me should neither. What do? Uh, do you think we should get Tainari to take a look at him? Dad's saying he forgot about helping the people at Akara Crafts learn more about Aranara because right now he has something more important to do. Oh, that's what he meant! Well, there it is! All the proof you needed! In a very self-indulgent way. Definitely Tanjir's son! Wait, no, this isn't the time for all that. Tanjir, your help is pretty vital to the toy makers. You gotta do something! But the garden that blooms before my eyes is of greater importance. For therein lies the beautiful Padisara that all the children of Sumeru dream of. I, Tanjir, have found evidence of Aranara activity right here in the Avidia Forest. Conclusively proving that Aranara not only exists in stories, but in real life too. Well, I could have told you if that. I managed to document the first real life Aranara sighting. The petty problems that perplex Akara Crafts will be untangled in no time. Meanwhile, I may well be able to leverage this to assume leadership of the academia. Then all across Sumeru will know of the great Tanjir living in humble Port Ormos. Okay. Uh... <sighs> in any papers myself, but I think you need to have a bunch of them approved by the review board before entering the academia. You also need a detailed and objective experiment record. Uh, anyway, Tanja, what did you mean by evidence of r, &R activity? The hook's what's important in a story. The great storyteller Tanja never gives his audience the bait right away. Come with me. Oh, Lord. Wait, not that way. Kale? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. But that way leads us deeper into the Avidia Forest. I I'm just concerned for Tanja's safety. And I think I'm starting to understand why Razi and Tanja were fighting. Something else going on. Secret Razi was keeping. Just as I expected, the promise of one of my stories has kept you hot on my heels. Dude, you walk like 15 but feet. This is just an ordinary tree hollow. 
Hymark's not seeing any evidence of Aranora. You can deceive the eyes, but you can't deceive the heart. Look with your heart, and you too will understand. Um, That's that kid said. Hymark's not sure what look with your heart means, but anyway, let's start by investigating the area around this tree hollow. Hey, look! There's a note here! Could this be the evidence that Tanja was talking about? Uh, the handwriting's so hard to read! It's too hard! I can't remember the names of all these mushrooms. Um, do Aranara need to learn about mushroom classification? Here's another note that says, This tree hollow is my castle. That sounds more like something an r and r from the stories would say. There's another one here! Hmm. If only I were a clever r and r A clever r and r Is the emphasis on clever or r and r How does it feel to bear witness to a groundbreaking discovery? Exciting, isn't it? It looked like messages left by children. Ah, the crude handwriting may look like a child's, but don't forget, we're in the middle of a rainforest. I doubt that a child would be able to reach this deep into the forest, and I doubt even more that they would think of this lowly tree hollow as some sort of impenetrable castle. I boldly hypothesize that this tree hollow is, in fact, the Aranara's Academia. The notes we saw were written by the Aranara themselves. There is no doubt in my mind about that. An Aranara that wasn't so bright left a note here wishing to become a clever Aranara. Oh, I shall craft a new story for them and call it the Aranara in the Tree Hollow. How's that? Don't the very words just conjure up images of Aranara in your mind's eye? Uh, nope. Not at all. Well, many an adventurer knows how to take to the skies with their easily visible wind gliders, yet they do not possess the invisible wings of imagination, making it hard for them to keep up with my train of thought. How about yeah. you, Miss Forest Ranger? Do you soar into the atmosphere on the wings of imagination? Huh? Me? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I do, but maybe not? Uh, anyway, it has nothing to do with me, so... Man, she's acting, it's like, disappointed. Oh, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just that witnessing Tanja's creative process is a little... Yeah. Oh. Being the man behind the curtain. Overwhelming. Yeah, well, you could say that, oh, not in a great way. Yes, y yes, overwhelming. For now, I've decided to stay here with Razi until we witness the legendary moment when the Aranara appear in this hollow. Don't worry, I won't let the Akara Crafts toy makers down. When a real Aranara appears, their little troubles will be resolved in an instant. He seems pretty stubborn. Looks like we'll have to stay here and wait a little longer. No, I think we should return to our camp first. Tanja, in r and r and the Three Little Fungus, it says that r and r are very sensitive creatures. I don't think they'll show up if we stay here. Oh? Was that in the story? <laughs> ah, <laughs> yes, I remember now. <laughs> Miss Forest Ranger, you sure know your stuff. What's the bang his head case, against the Let's go back to camp so and call it a day. We'll continue our search for evidence <gasps> first thing in the morning. Oh, Razi, I feel so bad for you. Traveler, traveler, wake up! We were not sleeping. Okay. Did the Aranara Arana show up? It's not the Aranara. It's Kale. She's gone. Oh, god damn it. Oh, Paimon's been worried about Kale since last night. Even though she kept telling us 
she was okay after we saw the evidence of Arnora activity. She's been acting kind of strange. Notice that too. Anyway, let's go find her. Hey, look! Aren't these Kale's footprints? But why are they headed towards the tree hollow? So Kale came back here alone. Is she waiting for the R and R to show up? Dog. Paimon, Paimon couldn't have walked like 30 feet before waking me up just to see if she was over here. And I thought this was a place nobody knew about. I never thought Tanja would find it or that I would run into the Traveler and Paimon. <laughs> if I'd known, I would have just told the Tree Hollow instead of writing it down. There must be another way to practice my handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> now I've created a whole new problem for myself. Mm. Oh, that's unfortunate. Now? Dress up as an Aranara? <laughs> oh, no, 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 that won't work. I should be writing something that an Aranara would never say, so that Tanja won't mistake me for one of them. <laughs> like, I am well, not an Aranara. Oh, what should I write? <laughs> He's mm. like, that's exactly what an Aranara oh, would say. I've got it. There's no way Tantra could see this as the work of an Aranara. So the evidence of Aranara activity we saw during the day was actually evidence of Kali's activity. Well, stop littering. Why didn't she just tell Tanja? Perhaps that's her secrets. Oh, right. Kali told Razi that he could tell any secret to a tree hollow. Must be because that's what she does. And now she even writes it down. Kali must have her reasons. Yeah, you're right. We'll keep her secret for her. Oh, looks like she's almost done writing. Let's head back. Good tact. And just letting her do her thing. Aha! There's a new note just as I expected. Yes, yes! It's the same handwriting, which means it must have been written by the same Aranara. Let's see what it says. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? Uh, I'm mildly curious. I want to visit Mondstadt during the Ludi Harpastum again? No, that, that's impossible. This must be some kind of mistake. How that's could fun. an Aranara go to Mondstadt for the Ludi Harpastum? Even I would never write that into a fairy tale. So, in other the notes can't have been left by an Aranara. Uh, yeah. If you ask me, they were probably left by a passing merchant from Mondstadt or something. Definitely not an Aranara. No. No, I refuse to believe it. Hmm. He's reached the anger stage. Please help a car, Cress. I can't. What do you mean you can't? not like it'll take you a huge amount of effort. You've written so many stories beloved by the children. I'm sure you can help create carvings that are just as successful. I believe in you, Tanja. No! I can't do it. I thought that if I could find an r, &R I'd be able to help Akara Crafts. But it was someone from Mondstadt all along. But you've managed to write all those stories without ever having seen a real R&R, &R, right? What makes this so different? I... Uh... uh Rossi... You tell them. The kid wrote them. Really? Uh... Can I? Yes, it's fine. Tell them. I know this is the moment you've been waiting for. Okay. Kale, Traveler, Paimon, do you remember when I said that there was a secret I didn't want to tell anyone? Yup. I didn't want to tell anyone the secret, but it made me feel very sad and also turned Dad into a completely different person. So, I think I should tell you. Dad isn't the one who came up with all those Aranara stories. What? Hold on. So if Uncle Tanja wasn't the author, then... Oh. Who was it? Tanja's a dick. Wait. You don't mean... It was me. 
dad's been telling stories in Port Ormos for as long as I can remember. I always got to listen to all his new stories. Every night, dad would give me a Zaytun peach for dinner, and I'd eat it while he told his stories. The Zaytun peaches were delicious, but dad's stories were really bad. He always uses sentences that are really hard to understand, and... Strange, uh... Metaphors, I think they're called? But Dad kept on going, telling his stories again and again. Oh, one time, he even borrowed a camera from Lord Sangema Bay's shop and got me to take pictures of him in action. Dad showed me the picture and said that it shall become the precious record of Sumero's best storyteller early in his career. Even though I only had Zaytun peaches to eat and not so great stories to listen to, <laughs> I was happy. Then one day, I tried telling Dad a story I came up with. Dad seemed really excited from the very beginning. He, he looked really happy. He lifted me up high into the air and told me to continue. He lifted me up so high that I was looking down at him. As I continued with my story, I saw his expression gradually change. And when I got to my favorite part, Dad started crying. I guess he must have been moved by my story. Or he's just sad that his son's already way better down. than him. I looked up at him again, but now he had a scary look in his eyes. You remember it so vividly. It could have happened only, that long ago. I too remember every detail of what happened that day. I lost After my goddamn that, I mind. I gradually grew in fame and started making money. I became Sumeru's best storyteller, just as I always dreamed. Finally, we could afford more than just Zaytun peaches for dinner. I thought it would make Razi happy. Not crazy I looks was in your really face, happy though. At first, but then everyone started calling me Tanja's son instead of Razi. I kind of guessed why, but I also didn't want to believe it. Dad got busier with things that had nothing to do with storytelling, like that request from Akara Crafts. So I made up my mind that this time, I just want to be good old Rozzy so that dad will become good old dad again. Instead of dad the way he is now, starting every story with, dedicated to my dearest Rozzy. I prefer my dad how he used to be, stumbling over words and not knowing how to end the story. Dad, I prefer you be I decided to keep indigent. how I imagine R&R &R to look like a secret. And we only hey, eat peaches because that's all we can now. afford. That's when I was happy. To sum up, all of Uncle Tanger's fairy tales were actually stories written by Rozzy. Oh my god. And no because shit. Rozzy didn't want Tanger to keep living a lie, he refused to help him with the Kara Crafts Commission. Oh my god. Yes, Paimon. Yes. Yes. That's why I tried looking for possible evidence of Aranara. But it turned out that I was just being a clown, as always. <laughs> Not even a funny one. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> Fucking clown. I'm sorry, Rassi. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> and I owe you all an apology, too. For that implies that there time. are clowns in Tevat. Rossi's the only one who can help Akara Crafts. If you can manage to persuade him, that is. Right now, I think I just want to find a tree hollow and be quiet for a while. Are we gonna let this happen? That's a Razi. You want me to help a car crash with their carving? I mean, he doesn't have well, to. We I know enough far in our R and R look like in my stories, but to make a carving, we might need more details. Kale, Traveler, and Paimon, I might need your help on this one. Let the show begin. I've never really left Port Ormos before. This is my first time in Gondarvaville. Well. It's my first time being so far from home. Sumeru is so much bigger than I thought. Seeing new places has given me loads of new ideas for my R and R stories. Xenon, thank you for the follow. So I want to visit more places in Sumeru. That way, I can help Akara Crafts create an R and R carving that everyone will love. And I also want to take pictures of Dad everywhere that we travel to. I love seeing him depressed. You. You still want me to come with you? Delicious depressed. Even after picture. all I've done? Bro, you still yeah, his daddy. Of course. 
Come on, you're the best dad ever. That is not true. <laughs> that is patently uh, false. He has sounded since we met him. I want to thank you, Kale. Huh? Me? I... I didn't do anything to help. You told me about telling my secrets to a tree hollow. Even though I didn't have the time to find a tree hollow, telling everyone my secret made me feel so much better. <sighs> yeah. It's hard to keep too many secrets. And there's no need to hide our mistakes from others all the time. Especially a secret curse that lashes out and kills people if they get too close or try to touch me. I need a lot of I mean, back in Mondstadt. But when I look back on them, I mean, it all feels more like a new beginning. No, it, not my secret. Somebody else's, I heard. I'm sure this experience will be the same for Tanja. Yes. I'll do my best to become a good father again. Wait. Did you just say you've been to Mondstadt? <laughs> I, um, I just... Tripped up. Uh, just passed by once. Never mind that. Come on now. A counter crafts is waiting for us. Not tripped up. Let's go, Rosie. Grab that camera and see what hidden inspiration you can discover along the way. I mean, I've been to Mondstadt. <laughs> okay. Why did you look at me Let's like go. that? Come on, Dad. I'm literally a traveler. You know, I'm Rosie, a monster. Slow down and watch your step. Let's catch up with them. Yeah. Instead of just standing here. The 20th anniversary of Akara Grass is coming up. Paimon wonders what the children thought of the Aranara carvings we helped create. Let's go check it out. Did we create them? We didn't do anything. the same one again when will i get the chubby squishy one i guess i'll just have to save up my allowance and get them all you get them randomly that's huh? trash I came here every day have you still not collected them all yet <laughs> get good scrub that way you get seven different designs at once but then there's no surprise surprises are boring i want to have every design there is that's what you do when you really love something. Dude loves RNG. I'm gonna get this kid into speedrunning. <laughs> yeah, he, he definitely would spend way too much money on gacha games, for real. I finally saved up enough to buy this set today. Oh, I'm very sorry, but the one Cassit bought was our very last carving. We're out of stock today. But we're working on expanding our team, so please check back tomorrow. Fine, I'll come back tomorrow. Hm. Better have your just shit so together. You know, R&R carvings are more than just stock. Yeah. Damn. Oh, my bad. Right. All right, I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. Holy buddy. shit. Our Aranara carvings have sold out for today. Sold out? Oh no. I was gonna buy one for my cousin who's visiting tomorrow. I look like this hey, before. How about this? You live near Rati's house, right? We'll deliver the new carvings to you first thing tomorrow. Why would you do that with the girl? Anyways, um, this is when I was Tanner and I hadn't lost so much of my melanin <laughs> over periods of remaining in the house. Um, probably like 2006. I dyed, tried dyeing my hair red, but I didn't bleach it first. So it was like this sort of red tint. It's, it looked very similar to this. Oh, thanks, Mr. Bice. Or I guess like Don't plum, forget, okay? not plum. What's I that color? Promise. A Kara Crafts would never kind of down a child. Purplish, red, purple tint. Ah, more customers. Uh, sorry, our Aranara carvings have. Motherfucker, oh, do I look like a hey, goddamn customer? Yeah. You guys, acknowledge me. Thank you so much for your help. We've been planning on visiting you to express our gratitude, but as you can see, our store's been really busy. Well then, I don't have an address for you to visit. The store's anniversary might have been a different story. Looks like your business is doing very well. It's all thanks to Rossi. He has so much creativity at such a young age. Oh, and we would like you to have the prototype Aranara as a small token of appreciation. 
Ah, that's too kind. No, I mean, seriously, get this the fuck out of our site. Mind blowing. Uh, right. Mind blowing. <laughs> it has a very, uh, mysterious feel. Um, we appreciate your thought, but please give us some time to decide if we want to keep it. <laughs> Motherfucker. I'll put it in my the damn teapot. Our father owned up to his mistake and was forgiven by his R and R son. Hmm. Dude made a After story. Everyone will like how the story goes. Dunking on the his father. The father owned up to his mistake was too simple. Perhaps and his father's going to tell it. Through some kind of hardship together. I'm sure that's a power move. Understanding of each other that way. The R and R father will feel guilty after seeing his son work hard. Hmm. When the R and R father starts feeling guilty, should he speak more slowly or more quickly? That depends on the R and R son. It would be interesting to hear them speak at different paces. Hey, Tondra and Rosie, what you? It sounds like Tondra. It sounds like Tondra's actually got a knack for like creating narrative just structure. The story. Just not the content the of the narrative. The story this time, but I'm a little nervous about telling a story in front of so many people. That's why I'm asking Dad for advice. Oh, Sumeru's gonna have a new young storyteller. Boom. If it weren't for you, Rozzy would surely have left me for good. I'm so glad everything worked out. But there's still something that doesn't quite add up. Oh, what is it? Do you need help investigating something? I was like, I'm still here. Why would a monster leave a note in a tree hollow deep in the Avidia forest? Oh, Paimon just trolling. I thought we moved on from this topic. Um, it was just a coincidence. A lot of people write down their secrets and hide them in tree hollows. It's not a big deal at all. That's littering, bruh. The Dendro region? It looks kind of flustered all of a sudden. Uh, uh, okay. I have my secrets and troubles too. And I tell them the tree hollows. But seeing Rozzy and Tanja has given me an idea. Traveler, could you be my tree hollow? Be my pleasure. Oh, that's nice.